So we have our first Luna that hatched. I was trying to find the cocoon where it came from. I'm not quite sure where it is because we still have lots of them in there. But we'll take you back over here. Let's see. I can get closer to take a closer look at it. Zoom in. There. I think it is a girl. Look at the antennas. Get her to open up. It is a girl. She's very pretty. Get a close up there of her. very pretty pretty bright colors so we'll let her for a couple hours here and then we might be able to let her go tonight I don't see any more in the cage here so maybe they will start hatching we have quite a few of them here but I have my my sticks all set up so if they need to they can crawl up the, the sticks to dry their wings. So here's the female Luna that I had talked about a couple minutes ago. We're gonna, it's darker now so we're gonna let her go. Alright so my daughter Bree's gonna get the female Luna and we're gonna let her go. Let me see her. Okay, let me do a close-up of her. So this is one of our walnut trees that we have in the backyard. So we're going to let the Luna go on the bark and then when it gets nighttime, hopefully she'll fly. Okay Brie, go ahead and put her on the bark of the tree. Let's see if she walks off onto the tree. What happened? There she goes. And we'll just let her there. Okay, and remember, Luna moths don't have mouths so they can't eat. They have to go find mates. Came back here to see if Luna is gone, the female Luna, and I don't see her. So she must have taken off. Remember, Luna's moths are nocturnal, so they fly around at night. So, she's flying around somewhere.